Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Saturday afternoon and I have the slow cooker going with a uh, pork shoulder butt roast. Um, I don't know if you remember, oh, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so, I purchased a rather large pork shoulder butt and I cut it in three separate pieces. So the first uh, piece I made carnitas with it and now I'm going to make uh, pulled pork with the other one and we still have one in the freezer. So that's going on the slow cooker right now. Um, as I talked about, uh, I've been cooking on the griddle top, the electric uh, griddle top in the house here. So I'm going to go ahead and make some smash burgers on the griddle top for lunch today. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's get going. All right, everyone, so it is time to make some uh, smash burgers on this electric griddle top. So uh, some of you have asked what smash burgers are, and I really didn't uh, think about smash burgers until recently that I've been watching videos on flat top cooking. Uh, like I said, I would like to get a flat top uh, uh, portable one for outside for the summertime, but we do have this electric one for the inside. So what you do on a smash burger just take your uh, ground beef and roll them, you know, just work them into like uh, big uh, meatballs. And then uh, you don't flatten them out until you put them on the griddle. So I'll be using a piece of tin foil to put over each patty. And then I'll just use the bottom of this little skillet to flatten them out. So you're going to actually flatten them out all the way uh, to where they're, you can't flatten it out anymore. So that's... Uh, that's why it's called a smash burger. You're going to smash them all the way down. I did put seasoning inside the, the ground beef before I rolled them up. I put seasoned salt, black pepper, onion powder. But when I smash them down here, I'll just throw a little more pepper and uh, onion powder on top. I don't want to over salt them. So, and then once I'm done with these, I'm going to go ahead and uh, toast some hamburger buns on here. And you probably can't see it, but I can see it smoking. The temperature is about 375. So I'm going to go ahead and set these down. Now, once you got them all smashed down, uh, it only takes like a minute to two minutes to cook each side. And that might even be too long. But uh, what you want is once you smash them down, you want to get like a um, uh, caramelized crust on the edges and in the middle. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to let these uh, cook for a couple seconds and then I'm going to start smashing them down. And the temperature, I don't know if I mentioned it, I have it about 375 for the temperature. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, smashing down. I'm going to put the tin foil over this. And I'm going to take this and smash it all the way down. You see how that goes? It's all the way down. <laughs> Wrong order. Now a regular grill top like you use outside, um, you can even buy some for the stove top. Um, there, <laughs> I keep doing that. Those are not non-stick like this. This is, those are like where you have to season them with oil and things like that. And I would like to start cooking that way. Let's see if I can smash that down even more. I'm going to put cheese on mine. And when you make these, you can make it like a double layer on one roll, one hamburger bun. Or make two separate ones, or you can triple them, or whatever. Now this is a high content grease. So that's why they're shrinking. I expected them to shrink that much. Now I'm just going to season them. 
pepper and onion powder only. You don't want to over salt. And that's all the smash burger is. Since this was the first one, I'm going to flip it over to try to see how it is. Yep. You can see it's getting like uh, cook marks there. Little caramelized, and this this griddle, um, even though you have the whole thing set to one temperature, it seems like this side always gets hotter than the other side. Okay, so now I got all four of them over here. I'm going to clear this up a little bit, wipe it down. Throw some butter on there and toast the hamburger bun. And this is what you would do on a, a flat top that is that you cook outside with. Once you got food cooked on one side, you want to move it over, clean off that area to cook your next next batch of food. Now on a griddle, a flat top griddle or grill, whatever you want to call it, for the outside, they usually come with separate burners to control all parts of it. So this one only has one. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, roll, my hamburger buns on here um, before these start burning. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it down now because I'm sure these are done now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down just enough so I can toast the buns a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about cooking more on a flat top, especially uh, when I finally get one for the outside. Alright, so I'm going to make my... Oh, i got to put the cheese on mine. I think I'll go ahead and turn the temperature back up, get these cooking more. You can see it is very high content grease on these hamburgers. But I'm going to make mine a double. Actually, maybe not because they look pretty uh, big still. <laughs> so I put some butter on here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw the hamburger buns on here. And toast these up a little bit. I think I'll toast a total of three hamburger buns right now. You can see the cheese melting over here on mine. All right, so Glenn didn't want any uh, sautéed onions, so I just cut onions just like that. Just regular ring onions. Well, you can see how nice the hamburger bun is toasting. And we're going to go ahead and throw some, I'm going to put some Miracle Whip on mine, some ketchup. Glenn's going to have some ketchup, uh, horseradish mustard. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually really start turning this thing down. And uh, I'm just going to leave it on warm until I'm ready to plate these.
That's the only uh, difference between like uh, this electric griddle and a griddle that you would cook with outside is that I don't have four different burners to control this side versus this side or these right here. So, um, but I am using this. So, <laughs> and we, you can also purchase one for a stove top, whether it be a, a electric stove or a gas stove. You can purchase griddles that you can set on top of your burners. Um, I thought about doing that, but I'm okay using this right now. We have it, so why not use it? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plate these now. So, hamburger buns got nice and toasted. And this one is mine. I'm only going to toast one hamburger bun right now because I don't know if I'm going to eat two. But I'll leave my other hamburger on there. So, all right, it's a matter of putting fixings on, but that is what a smash burger is. Um, rightfully, you can get them, probably get them even uh, thinner, I guess, depending on, on your fat content. So, like I said, this was high fat content but it's working. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bring uh, Glenn's uh, condiments to him. He can put them on himself, but there are the smash burgers. Again, got cheese on mine. You can make them singles or doubles, and Glenn's gonna have onions, horseradish mustard, and ketchup. So there it is. This is our lunch for this Saturday afternoon, Smashburgers on the grill top. <laughs>